Very often I'm asked which programming language is best for a beginner. And in this video, I want to answer that. Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of J Sparrow Start Programming. My name is Ben and in this video I want to answer what is probably the most frequently asked question that we get asked privately as well as on this channel. Today I would like to explain which programming languages you should learn as a beginner. First of all, I know that this question can be controversial. There are people who say it doesn't really matter which language you learn first, there are people who say that the very specific language is right for beginners, and then there are people who recommend several different languages. And I actually belong to the latter group. That means I recommend one of three different programming languages. These are the programming languages Java, Python and C Sharp. Why do I now recommend learning one of the three different languages and why can't you commit to a specific one? Well, that's simply because you can use different programming languages better for different purposes. And of course, it all depends on what you want to learn. Let's start with my favorite language. Number one, Java. Java is best known for being a platform independent language. That means you write your Java code once and then it runs on all operating systems. That's a big advantage that a language like C Sharp also offers nowadays, but Java is extremely well known for it and this language is used very often in open source projects in particular because there are also a lot of open source libraries for Java. Java is a language very similar to C Sharp. C Sharp was actually inspired by Java. So it can be said that Java is kind of the mother or father of C Sharp. And Java plays a very very important role in the labor market in particular because very very many companies use this language. As I said, the Java language itself is actually very similar to the C Sharp programming language and the languages sometimes almost look identical. This is simply because C Sharp was inspired by Java and accordingly it can be said that C Sharp is almost the same. Since C Sharp was inspired by Java and the languages are almost identical, it is worth learning this language first because once you have mastered Java, you can master the C Sharp language very quickly as well. Java simply has an extremely large number of open source libraries and is in great demand on the job market. I personally like it best, but C Sharp also offers some modern features that Java doesn't offer. At the end of the day, it's just a matter of taste and it always depends on what you want to do. Java in particular has many great third party libraries that are not available in C Sharp. C Sharp is more dependent on the .NET framework. And what you like better, you have to know for yourself. Overall, Java is just a great language for me, offers many possibilities and is my personal favorite. At this point, I would also like to refer to J Sparrow, because all the advantages I said about my favorite language, Java, can be supported and simplified even more with J Sparrow. So if you are a Java programmer or want to become one, then J Sparrow can help you when it comes to any Java solution. It is suitable for beginners as well as professionals. J Sparrow is an Eclipse IDE and Maven plugin that lets you fix code smell, remove dead code, fix bugs, refactor your code and learn Java best practices with the 89 life markers while you're writing the code. The best thing about J Sparrow is that you can try it for free. We offer a free trial version which provides you with 20 free refactoring rules. And if this sounds interesting to you, just look at the link in the video description. Download the free version, use it and visit our documentation section where also every single rule is explained. If you don't like Java, I can recommend Python, which is the number two language for beginners. Python is also a beautiful programming language that is very very easy to read and because Python code is written like normal text, I think it is also a very beginner friendly language. For me personally, Python is in particular useful and practical when I want to quickly automate any small tasks. For example, if I want to automatically stitch images together or if I want to automatically send emails to many people at the same time and so on. So you can really do a lot with Python especially when it comes to small tasks or small programs, that's the language of my choice and that's because you can do cool things with Python very quickly. 
For large application software that I've been working on for a really really long time, I still prefer Java, but Python is still a very cool and beginner friendly language. And Python is also very popular these days. This means that many companies use Python, and yes, this is also a language that is definitely worth learning if you want to increase your value on the job market. And last but not least, there is the third programming language, C Sharp. C Sharp is especially interesting if you want to dive into game programming and develop your own games. If that's the case, then I definitely recommend you to learn the C Sharp programming language. C Sharp is also a beautiful and also very beginner friendly programming language in my opinion, and it is also used in the game engine 3D. Unity 3D is the most used game engine in the world, and yes, if you want to develop your games with it, then there is no way around C Sharp anyway. C Sharp is also very well suited for normal application development. In C Sharp we work with the so-called .NET framework and this is a really huge framework with which we can do an incredible amount of stuff. There are many great pre-programmed classes that are made available to us that we can use, which means that we don't have to constantly reinvent the wheel for simple standard tasks. And that's it! That's my top 3 beginner friendly programming languages and in that sense I would say that's it for the video. If you liked the video I would be very happy if you would give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and activate the bell for new programming content regularly. I see you again in the next video, have fun programming and goodbye!